What you're going to see right now is a clip or just a, a small segment of my new podcast type of channel. I don't really know what it is yet, but more videos are going to be like this soon. I don't want to just do reactions on this channel. I don't know how we just became a reaction channel. It doesn't even matter. So anyway, if you want to see the whole thing, link description. Y'all know what y'all already know, bro. Just enjoy. We're going to run through all 30 NBA teams. And I'm, I'm going to give you all my opinions on it and how far they could probably go into the playoffs. And if I if the Clippers want to see them in the playoffs or not. So like always, we're going to start off with the East first, because let's be honest, the West is just so much more difficult to just talk about and even like unpack the different players, the different situations that could happen in the playoffs or even just going further beyond the heat. I, you don't you can't really predict the heat because Jimmy Butler, he always turns it up in the playoffs. I don't understand. I think what Jimmy Butler does is he analyzes every single team. You know, going into the regular season, he's looking at every team. Okay, this is their tendencies. This is what they like to do. I'm just taking a step back and not even really worry about some games. But I'd rather just analyze your play style, your coaching methods, and just the way you train. So in the playoffs, I can just destroy y'all. I think that's really what happened last year. Because in the Bucks, like, what the fuck? Just, I had the Heat losing in five. Meanwhile, they these motherfuckers, they won in five. First round, got the, the Bucks out of here. Crazy. Then they went on the second round, destroyed the Knicks. I, I, don't, I don't know why. Like... If anybody had the Heat losing to the Knicks, oh, that, would, that would have been weird. So then they went on to the fucking finals too. And they took one game of the Nuggets. I think that was like the only game they lost at home. The Nuggets were like 10-1. and 1. Oh my goodness, yeah. Now the Heat, you can't really predict them. Especially now that Bam... Things with Bam, I'm not really too confident on his whole... Just like, I'm not confident in his skill set being so consistent in the playoffs now. Because I've seen that sometimes he's been struggling... But then sometimes he'll just turn it up. I seen the dunk on Jalen Brown that he had last year, bro. The, the, the ankle breaker. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Okay, bam, go off. I would love to see him succeed as well. And now Tyler Hero got injured last year. You know, they didn't really have no type of, no type of momentum. That's what I thought. <laughs> Especially when Tyler Hero got injured. Now, what would happen if he would have been playing? I don't know. Maybe the, we were looking at like a 4-2 series. Maybe it was a game seven situation. I don't know. I don't know if Tyler Hero is going to make that much of a difference, but nobody knows. Yeah. I, I usually don't watch the Heat, especially in the regular season. Cause why would you have, why would I, as a Heat fan, watch the regular season if I know we're somehow going to be in the playing spot? Jimmy Butler is going to help us more often than not. And we're just, we have to hope that we're healthy because the Heat, I, I don't know why, what type of plot boost they get when they get into the playoffs, but it, it definitely works. I've seen it too many times now. I thought it was just a meme, but at this point, it's just facts. Jimmy Butler turns into Michael Jordan in the playoffs. It's not, it's just the facts anymore. Now, the Magic last year, they weren't really that good. You know, they were the 13th seed. And this year, they started off really, really well. Good. Went on a crazy win streak. And to be honest, I will give credit to that because of that theme song. That theme song is insane. <laughs> Only because of that, they get extra points. Now, they're currently in the 8th seed. I don't know how it's going to look at the end of the season. But let's just assume they're going to sit in that playing spot. And they could potentially just pull an upset. And maybe knock down, let's say, hit the Pacers drop to the to the ninth seed, you know, and they could be the tenth seed. They could battle it out. Maybe they're gonna pull it upset. Who knows? The playoffs are really unpredictable. I'm gonna drop a prediction thing later on once the season is over, and then we can get our full thoughts out and what really gonna happen. I could see the Magic maybe, you know, pulling off Miami Heat type of run. I just I don't know why. I don't, I have it. The the theme song really just convinces me, bro. It just kind of puts that aura in you. <laughs> I don't know. And obviously the players are really good. You know, we got Franz Wagner, we got Paolo, you know, J- Jalen Suggs. Who else, bro? They, they had Bobo last year, and, you know, they kind of get... <laughs> I don't know why I had to mention that, but, hey, Bobo, you know, we, we rock with Bobo. We got Phoenix Suns. I think that's, like, the first time I've ever said their name correctly. Anyway, nah, let me tell you how this... This this was insane. I thought we were hold, bro. I, I, was, I already was a, a Suns hater, a Buns hater, but, you know, because they, cause they knocked us off the playoffs, you know, you know, lucky ass shit, but, you know, bringing in Bradley Beal and Kevin KD, bro, the thing is with KD, bro, he was so much fun to watch with the Nets. He That was the first time he was not a villain. In my eyes, you know, because I, I didn't really watch him when he was in OKC. I was not, I was not around then. <laughs> I, I mean, I wasn't a fan. I, I was around, but you know, so KD was so much fun to watch. And that's, in my opinion, that might low key be his best version. Am I tripping? I felt like he was just so efficient. I didn't really look at the numbers too much, but it, just, just seeing him, man. Oh, man. And then I had to root against him again. I hate it, bro. Let me root for you, KD, but you're making it tough, bro. Oh, always switching. Like, bro, just stay with the Nets, man. I, okay, I don't know. I wouldn't. I would probably blame him more if you say with the Nets because, bro, it's the Nets. Now, they brought in Bradley Beal, and I thought this was about to be, you know, disgusting offense, immediately crazy. Like, you have three scorers like that. But we also kind of saw, like, a similar thing happen with James Harden and Kyrie and KD. But not to that because that team is way better than this Suns team for sure, bro. Because they only – I know they only played 16 games together, bro. They didn't even lose like that, bro. Come on, man. Anyway. 
the Suns team cannot. Can, I don't know. I, I don't have a lot of faith in the Suns team because I'm a hater. You know, I, I'm gonna just say it like it is. You know, I'm, I'm a hater. You know, I don't want them to see. I, I don't want them to succeed this year. Now next year, maybe in three years, because. You know, we gotta we gotta grow up at some point, right? I'm not gonna be like the fucking Knicks, bro. Who's gonna hold the grudge at Trey Young in like 25 years from now? Um, so yeah, um, brought in Eric Gordon, uh, Grayson Allen, bro. Yeah, Grayson Allen shouldn't have left the Bucks, bro. He was really good. Uh, that that's so underrated, but he's been shooting really well as well. Yeah, crazy. Anyway, don't really care about the Suns. The thing is, with the West, y'all gonna see me be a lot more biased than I am towards the <laughs> like instead of the East, because my team is here. You know, I don't play about my team. <laughs> I'm trying to win this championship now, and I don't, you know, I'm going to be biased. A lot of people were skeptical about the whole combination of Kyrie and Luka working out, but now that it's working, it seems like everybody's just silent, you know? I knew this was going to happen. I seen the future that it's going to work out. I thought it was going to happen quicker, though. I thought it was going to happen last year, especially, bro. Kyrie was so, like, he was dancing, bro. And I remember that specific game last year against the Kings where he had, like, 40, 40 points and hit Nah, it was it was fun to watch, bro. It's, it's so much fun to watch. And I know they had uh, um, their struggles, you know, to see, like, who's going to get the ball more. Because I don't know if you remember from last year. Because I always go back to last year. I don't know why those games are ingrained into my fucking mind. They played against the Timberwolves. It was a close game. Kyrie kept passing to Luka in the clutch. It was, like, 10 seconds left. And then they couldn't really get a good shot off because they are like, okay, I'm not trying to be selfish right here. I'm new to this team. And Luca's like, okay, I'm trying to help you feel comfortable here. So let me give you the ball. And then he's like, oh, my goodness, what, what are you going to do? But now they figured it out. They got a whole offseason together. They trained together. And shit is nice. And they got some good pickups in the trade deadline. Damn it, bro. Why didn't we do nothing, bro? Uh, Mavericks, really fun to watch. And, yeah, y'all got to know I love Kyrie so much. Like, but... I, if, if I would watch a compilation of Kyrie highlights and it would go over 20 minutes, I might just start crying. I don't know why. Like, it just, it would just happen naturally just because it's so beautiful. The Kings. Uh, wow, bro. The Kings, they just beat us. I, I wanted to do a reaction to it, but I just felt like you know, I, it, it just wasn't worth it. You know, like we got beat and I'm not worried about it because I saw Kawhi's reaction and T. Lou, even though they were pissed, but it just felt like it would do, they were just calm. You know, we got this under control. It happens. We just got to figure some stuff out and then we're going to be all right. So the Kings. Very fast offense, low key. No, it's never going to happen because it can't, or it, maybe it can in the finals. But the Kings against the Pacers, a playoff series, bro. Oh my goodness, I would watch that shit. Holy shit! Imagine Fox and Tyrese Halliburton like that. Oh my! And then I forgot Tyrese got traded from the Kings. Oh shit! Yeah, 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 that's gonna be fun. That would, that would be fun. That's not gonna happen, but you know, it, it could be. It could be cool to see. Yeah, now the Kings are just dope, and I love. I think one of my favorite series, just in last year's playoffs, if not the best one, was the Golden State Warriors against the Kings, and it was just they matched up so well. I don't know why, and, and every time the Warriors play the Kings, it's always some dope shit going to happen. The Kings always kind of bring out the best in these other teams, and they always have this fast pace and the shooters. It's fun to watch, you know. Obviously, you know Sabonis does his things. Fox is Fox, and you're not going to stop De'Aaron Fox. Bro, he, bro, didn't he, like, break his finger or, like, a hand or some shit, and he still put up those buckets? And, man, yeah, now the Kings going to do damage. I, I don't want to match up with nobody in the West. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm trying to get to the fucking East. You know, I'm trying to get to the finals. So, interesting to see what, what they're going to do. Yeah, the Lakers.